Was America meant to last forever? Was it meant to always be a Judeo-Christian nation that, you know, spoke the gospel, that spread the gospel, that championed liberty, freedom? The answer to that question is no. And even God himself knew that that was going to be the case. But yet, why are so many Christians and even conservatives putting their faith in a false hope. There's a lot to dive in and discuss here, guys. We'll jump into it in just a second. First, if you could, if YT lets you, try and hit the like button for me. Very important also, please share the video. Help us get around those algorithms. Without you guys sharing, you know, these videos don't go really hardly anywhere. They don't get a lot of views. So it's up to you guys to help me out with that. Hit the bell, subscribe, wear the glasses because I'm blind. And guys, if you enjoy my work here and you were able to help contribute to my ministry, couple different ways you can do that. One, simply click the super thanks down below on this video here to make a one-time donation. You can also join my Patreon family for as little as five bucks a month at patreon.com slash conservative truth. I set a goal for the month of April trying to get five new patrons. We're at three so far. We're looking for two more and you know, we're almost to the end of the month. So I could really use your help here, guys. We're also trying to rebound from the month of March because we unfortunately missed our goal there. Uh, and with my Patreon, you will be alerted for all of my videos. This is so important. If you guys only watch my content through getting YT alerts, I guarantee you're missing a ton. They don't send notifications out often, and people tell me this all the time. So don't miss out. Go to my Patreon today, where also you can comment on all the videos completely censorship-free. You can send direct messages. And as a bonus, a lot of people wanted me to do a video talking about how I went blind and how I operate my entire ministry without being able to see. So I did that. It's getting some good reaction. Check it out if you haven't seen it already. Big thank you to everybody already contributing and those thinking of doing so. Thank you as well. Your generosity is greatly appreciated. You know, I don't talk about these things, you know, unless, you know, I've gone through it myself. And in this case, I have. You know, let me say this about Trump. You know, there was a lot of excitement in 2016, right? And there was that same renewed hope again in 2020. And a lot of prophets were, you know, of course, you know, I talked about this before, you know, he would get back to back terms in office that didn't happen. Okay. And a lot of them have, you know, since either packed up their ministries and haven't been heard from since, or others have doubled down and said, well, I didn't mean consecutive. I meant, you know, just would have two terms at some point and, you know, trying to hold on every little bit of their false prophecy that they possibly could. You know, and I'm always, you know, risking people tell me all the time, you're going to lose donators. You're going to lose. I, I already have. Okay. <laughs> I've lost a lot of donators. Okay. I've lost a lot of subscribers, but I, I'm willing to stand on the truth because at the end of the day, when I go before God, it's me and him, it's no one else. So if people don't like what I have to say, they can feel free to leave. And they, they, it happens every day. I, I'm not here to be popular. I, I'm here to bring truth and I'm here to, you know, try and win souls to the kingdom. But you see, Trump is the false hope in an already defeated America. It's just the case. There are so many, even now still, after everything that we have seen take place, right? The, 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 the what happened moment in 2020 with Trump, right? The, the red wave that didn't happen in 2022, but yet so many are still saying that, 2024 is the year. This time it's going to happen. They arrested him. They indicted him. No, it's got to happen now. I, I mean, we, we, we finally got, we're, we're a year and a half away, guys, from this point right now. It's all going to go, it's all good. He's going to, this time he's really going to drain the swamp. He's going to do all this. What you don't understand, and please hear me on this. And again, I, I encourage you, if, if you enjoy this content, please share it with others. America is already defeated. It's already defeated. It has already bent the knee to the beast. There is nothing left to save. Okay. Trump cannot save this nation. There is no pulling it up out of the gutter and bringing it back to what it was. It's already defeated. It's lifeless. There's no movement anymore. What can he do? It's done. It's a false hope. America has told God repeatedly, and it's more so even than it was a year ago, that it wants nothing to do with God 
any longer. You know, when you see all these people with the Trump rallies and this and that, they're all, you know, chanting USA and they're chanting Trump. Let me ask you this. Does that win souls to the kingdom? What, what does that do? And I'm just being honest. What does that do to bring people to Jesus? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Chanting USA, USA, USA. And I, I mean, I love the country and I, I'm someone that voted for Trump twice. Although my voting days now are over and I've talked about that before. I'm no longer going to be a part of a, of a system that the Dems have completely taken over and it's, it's, it's just gone at this point, guys. And I'm not telling others what to do. I've had discussions, people that want to still vote, good for you. That, that's up to you to decide. We all have to make our own decisions. But I see the bigger picture now. And again, I was somebody that didn't used to. I, I was all caught up in the politics of everything. Oh, yes, Trump's going to do that, whatever. I, I, and I thank the Lord for discernment on this because I was able to see the error of my ways and putting hope in the wrong areas. But again, you know, your USA chants and this and that and chanting Trump, it, it does nothing. In fact, the enemy laughs at you when you do that because the enemy already has this wrapped up as far as you know, end time Bible prophecy goes. It does nothing to bring others to the kingdom. And the hope that you do need to be putting yourself is the hope of Jesus Christ because the nation cannot be saved. The nation will not be saved. However, if you put your hope and your faith in the Lord, that will, hear me on this, will sustain you through the remaining turbulent days that we have ahead until Christ does return. Your goal should not be trying to save the nation. It should be trying to save the souls of others who are still lost. Many of them, by the way, at those Trump rallies, at those protests, that still have no relationship with Jesus. They are still lost. Are they good people? Do they champion for conservative values? Sure, but they're lost. Does that get them into heaven? Absolutely not. Why are we not talking about this more? I'm being honest here. These are conversations that we need to start having. Jesus is trying to tell all of us. Please, again, hear me on this. And if you enjoy my videos, again, you can hit the super thanks to make a donation and you can join my Patreon family for as little as five bucks a month. The links are in the description. The reason that it's all caving in, when I say America is defeated, you should look at this as a good good thing. God is trying to get your attention. He's trying to get your attention. When you see Trump get arrested and get indicted, that should be a, a red flag to you that says, hey, wait a minute. Jesus is trying to get my attention here. The man that we put our faith in is, they got him, ladies and gentlemen. And I know Trump did a lot of good things for the nation. It's not what I'm, I'm not trying to take it away from him. But God is trying to tell you, the system, they got it now. You need to look to me and me alone. America, for as great as it always was, it's over. And a lot of people disagree with me. And again, I, you know, God bless you. You want to hold on to the hope of the country, then, you know, you do you. <laughs> okay. But I'm trying to bring some truth here and trying to wake some people up to the times that we're living in right now. A lot of you watched the recent video that I just did where I talked about the Senate just introduced the Digital Identity Act for all Americans to have a digital ID, which is going to lead to the mark of the beast. So many are still asleep, though. America is leading the charge for the beast system. And yet so many still asleep at the wheel. What, you don't think that that Trump would, would champion something like that? He champions a lot of things that you'd be surprised about. Just letting you guys know. Trump is a false hope in an already defeated America. You need to wake up to the days of the times that we're in right now and realize that your only hope is Jesus. This world has fallen to the beast when the Antichrist rises and the seven-year tribulation period begins. Is your America going to be thriving then? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. It'll be even worse off then than it is now. So again, think about this. And please... Share this video with others that you think it might bless. Because again, 
I'm only trying to help people. I'm only trying to wake them up to the reality of what is happening right now in this world. Now, what I want to do, like I do on every video, is end this video on hope. It's part of my ministry outreach. I talk about the end time Bible prophecy headlines, keep you guys up to speed and everything going on. Because time is almost out. For anybody watching right now, if you've not yet received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, I want to lead you in a prayer to do that right now. This is a prayer you could do in your own words, but I will give you the steps you need to bring it before the Lord today. First thing that you want to do right off the top, acknowledge that you are a sinner. That is something that we all are. The good news is that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world as he died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin. Repent means to turn from your sin, not just to say you're sorry and then jump back in your old ways, but to actually turn from sin, which are those lifestyles, patterns, habits, behaviors, things in your life that go against the word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord, though, and you ask him to forgive you, he'll wipe your sin away, and the Bible says he doesn't even remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you, there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. Again, I'll have some more information on this for you guys down below. You can let me know your thoughts. Don't forget the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. You guys could join my Patreon family for as little as five bucks a month by going to patreon.com slash conservative truth. Sign up for as little as five bucks a month and help me again with my goal for the month of April, trying to get five new patrons. Remember, we have three so far, but we're looking for two more and we're quickly coming to the end of the month, guys, and also trying to rebound from the month of March where we unfortunately missed our goal there. You could also hit the super thanks button down below on this video here if you prefer to make a one-time donation. It's all a great blessing. Thank you all again so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.